Well, I'm Jordan Rodriguez. After 40 years and 400 feature wins, Joran Boyce has inked his name in North Dakota racing. This year, the driver from Minot was honored by being inducted into the Nodak Speedway Hall of Fame. Starting his racing career in 1976, Boyce was no stranger to the sport as his father raced at Nodak Speedway as well. But to start his racing career, Boyce decided to race on two wheels instead of four. Growing up, my, my dad raced here at Nodak, raced uh, sprint cars. And uh, so at a young age, I was, I was around the racing language, if you will. And uh, um, when I was 13, I was, had a had a fond interest of motorcycles, and one thing led to another, started racing motocross. Messed around with that, broke some bones along the way. Had pretty good success in it. Um, but my dad was always pushing that cars are probably safer. In 1984, Boyce made the transition to dirt track racing, driving in the late model division, and would go on to win the Rookie of the Year award. After bouncing back and forth between motocross and dirt track for six years, Boyce fully committed to dirt track, following in his father's footsteps, which is where he won another Rookie of the Year award, except this time it was in the Dakota Modified class. The Dakota Modified was a real interesting car. It was introduced in the late 80s, and uh, 1990 I was able to start that there. Didn't get success right away, uh, but when I did get it, 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 it seemed to pour in, if you will, and uh, um, in the mid-90s, there had a couple of, I actually had four track, Nodak track championships in three years. Boyce was always interested in the mechanical side of racing, which is why he feels the racing bug bit him. With the sport growing both in size and technology, Boyce refuses to let go of one tradition that was once a popular practice. I always had an interest in how engines work, and uh, with that said, uh, um, to this day I still assemble my own engines, which is kind of a rarity in this sport anymore. Uh, so just interest in the mechanical ends of stuff uh, uh, made me interested in, in, in car racing. That's not the only thing Boyce wants to keep in racing. He and his family have tossed the idea around of bringing a modified from the 90s to the track to see how it would stack up against the more modern built cars. Again, on a novelty presentation, we want to try to see uh, if we can get that out, kind of see where it uh, might land in, uh, in the world of speed of this day and age. And uh, uh, so we have, we have interest in that, not, not on a serious level, but on a, but on a uh, genuinely bringing it back just the way we raced it in the mid-90s. Boyce's dedication and commitment to this sport is indisputable. But even with everything he has done for this sport, he still wasn't expecting to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. But when he was, he was hit by a whirlwind of emotions. You know, it, it, it's, it's hard to think like that. I mean, uh, every, every year you're racing, you're, you're busy getting your stuff ready, and it's, it's, it's sometimes hard to, to sit back and, 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 and look around to, to kind of see where you've been and, and where you're going type of deal. But uh, again, being inducted did kind of give me that chance. Being inducted was one thing for Boyce, but the bigger picture was who he was able to join in the Hall of Fame. Probably one of the biggest things for me is that my dad is also in the Hall of Fame, and uh, we are the first father-son uh, combination. So, uh, so honored to uh, to uh, follow my dad's tracks as far as uh, racing. Even though Boyce has been inducted into the Hall of Fame, that's not stopping him yet. You can still catch him racing every weekend in that bright green stock car.